Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the seventh question from CIE IGCSC 058041, extended paper from October November 2024. Now, this question is from graphs and inequalities. A company makes scientific calculators and graphic calculators. Each day, they make x scientific calculators and y graphic calculators. These inequalities describe the number of scientific and graphic calculators they make each day. So x represents scientific calculators. So number of scientific calculators made each day is less than 180. Number of graphic calculators made each day is less than or equal to 90. And scientific as well as graphic calculators both together are made less than or equal to 240 each day. Complete these two statements. The company makes fewer than dash scientific calculators each day. Now here x represents scientific calculators and we can see that each day number of scientific calculators made are less than 180. So the company makes fewer than 180 scientific calculators each day. So we have written here 180 making use of this inequality. Similarly, the company can make a maximum of dash calculators each day. So maximum they can make 240 that is x plus y equal to 240 or less than 240. So maximum they can make 240 calculators each day. That is by using this equation. Next, scientific calculators cost $12 to make. Graphic calculators cost $18 to make. Each day the company spends at least $2,700 making calculators. Show that 2x plus 3y is greater than or equal to 450. So let me make a relationship over here between the number of calculators made each day and the cost of each calculator. Now here x represents the scientific calculators and y represents the graphic calculators. And according to the given question, the cost of one scientific calculator is $12. But we have x scientific calculators with us. So here we have written x scientific calculator is going to be costing how much? So here we are going to make use of cross multiplication to get the cost of x scientific calculators as 12 times x. So this is what we have written. Now using the same relationship, we can find out the cost of y graphic calculators. So here we have made the relationship that one graphic calculator costs $18. Then we have y graphic calculators. So the cost of them is going to be y times 18 that is cross multiplication. So we get here 18y dollars. Now here they have given that each day the company spends at least $2,700 making these calculators together. So scientific calculators plus graphic calculators, the cost the company spends on making these is given as at least. Means minimum they are spending 2700 on making these calculators. They can go beyond this also. So here we have written the inequality. The cost can be greater than 2700 or it can be equal to 2700. So once we have got this relationship, 12, 18 and 2700 is divisible by 6. So let us try to simplify this equation. So here we have divided the left hand side by 6 and right hand side also by 6. So 12 over 6 will give us 2x, 18 over 6 will give us 3y and 2700 divided by 6 gives us 450. So we have shown that 2x plus 3y is greater than or equal to 450 by making use of this relationship. Let us move on to the next sub question. The region R satisfies these four inequalities. By drawing four suitable lines and shading the unwanted regions, find and label the region R. So here we can see four inequalities are given and a graph has been given to plot these four inequalities. So let us start with the first one and let me write down these equations over here for easy reference. Now the first inequality is x is less than 180. Now for this inequality, we have to look 180 on the x-axis. So 180 is going to be, this is 150, 160, 170 and 180 comes over here. So this is 180, this is 190 and 200. So we are going to draw a dotted line at x equal to 180 parallel to the y-axis this way. And this is going to be a dotted line because of this inequality sign. Remember that if it is given less than or greater than, then you are going to draw a dotted line. 
and if less than equal to or greater than and equal to sign is given then you are going to draw a solid line so after drawing this line let us write this equation along with this line now once we have written the inequality representing this line now comes the shading part now we have to shade the unwanted region given over here now x is less than 180 means the values below x equal to 180 becomes the wanted region and if you go beyond 180 then that region becomes the unwanted region so this entire region becomes unwanted because it is greater than 180 so let me shade this area now now once this is shaded we will write it as unwanted region now let us move on to the second inequality that is y is lesser than or equal to 90 now here y is equal to 90 so we have to look for y is equal to 90 on the y axis so 90 is going to be just below 100 that is 2 blocks below 100 gives us 90 so let us draw a straight line parallel to the x axis now and this is going to be a solid line because of the inequality sign less than or equal to now once we have drawn this line let us write the inequality representing this line over here now the shading part y is less than or equal to 90 means whichever area comes below this line is the wanted region and whichever region comes above this line becomes the unwanted region so this entire rectangle above this line becomes the unwanted region so we have shaded it across and let us write this as unwanted region and this also becomes unwanted region now the third equation x plus y is less than or equal to 240 now this is also going to be a straight line but we have two variables over here so I'm going to draw a small table to get the values of x and y to draw the straight line so here I have taken the same equation below but I have not taken the inequality sign here I have just taken it as equal to 240 so it becomes easy for the calculations now once I have written x plus y is equal to 240 I have rearranged this equation in such a way that I have taken x on the right hand side so we get y is equal to 240 minus x and here you can see I have drawn a small table now we are trying to get two coordinates or two points for drawing the straight line now here the simplest way is take some values of x plug it in this equation to get the value of y so the first value of x I am going to consider is x equal to 0 the easiest value so when x equal to 0 we are going to plug in the value of x as 0 over here so y is equal to 240 minus 0 gives us 240 so we have written here y is equal to 240 in the next case I am going to consider y is equal to 0 so I am going to plug in the value of y as 0 here so I directly get the value of x as 240 now we got the two points or two coordinates to draw the line the first coordinate or first point is going to be when x is 0 y is 240 so let us see here if it is there so here when x is 0 y is 240 so that will be two blocks below 250 that is over here this is 240 now the next point or next coordinate is going to be when x is 240 y is 0 for this point we are going to look at the x axis so 240 is going to be just two blocks away from 250 so this will give us the second point as x equal to 240 and y is equal to 0 now once we have got these two points let us draw a straight line connecting these two coordinates this way and let us write the equation representing this line now comes the shading part now according to the inequality x plus y is less than or equal to 240 means the region that falls below this line is the wanted region and the region that falls above this line becomes the unwanted region so here this has already become unwanted this is unwanted this is unwanted the small region is left so this is also going to get shaded now now we have new unwanted region this is unwanted this is unwanted and this also has become unwanted now let us focus on the last inequality given now here again I'm going to take 2x plus 3y equal to 450 so here we have written the equation and let us take 2x on the other side of equal to sign so we get 3y is equal to 450 minus 2x now let us take 3 on the other side of equal to sign so that it divides the entire right hand side so we get the equation as y is equal to 450 minus 2x the whole thing divided by 3 now here you can again see that I have drawn a table now we are going to plug in the value of x first as 0 
So here we get 450 minus 2 times 0. So this entire thing goes down to 0. So we are left with 450 over 3 which will give us 150. Now the first points coordinates we have got. Now let us check for the second one. Now for this one I am going to plug in the value of y as 0. So for that we are going to consider this equation. So here 3y becomes completely 0 because 3 times 0 is 0. So we are left with 2x is equal to 450 or taking 2 on the other side of equal to sign it divides 450. So we get x equal to 450 divided by 2 which will give us 225. Now we have got the coordinates of the second point as well. Now let us plot the points. The first coordinates are going to be x equal to 0 and y is equal to 150. So when x is 0, y is 150, that would be over here. So let us mark the point. And the next point is going to be x is equal to 225 and y is 0, which means we have our point on the x axis. So 225 is, this is 210, this is 220, this is 230. So 225 comes right in between 220 and 230. So this is our second point. So let us join these points now. So this is the line representing 2x plus 3y equal to 450. Now let us shade the region. Now 2x plus 3y is greater than or equal to 450 means we need the region which is above this line and the area below this line becomes the unwanted region. So we have to shade the entire region below this line. So this area also became unwanted now and this is also unwanted. Now once we have drawn all the four lines, this is the region which has not been shaded which means this becomes our wanted region. So we are going to label here capital R as it was given over here. Now let us move on to the last sub question. Scientific calculators are sold for a profit of $10. Graphic calculators are sold for a profit of $30. Calculate the maximum profit made by the company in one day. So let us make a relationship between the number of scientific calculators and its cost and graphic calculators and its cost. So the total profit or the maximum profit made by the company in one day is given by the equation 10x that is x represents the number of scientific calculators. So if each scientific calculator costs $10 then for x scientific calculators it's going to be 10x. Similarly if one graphic calculator is costing $30 then y graphic calculators will cost 30y dollars. So the total cost or the total profit is going to be the addition of these two. Now we have to find out the value of x and value of y from this wanted region in such a way that the company makes maximum profit. Now if you look at this relationship carefully, y is having higher weightage as compared to x because 30 is along with y which means we need to take the maximum value for y from this wanted region. Now the maximum value of y is going to be at y is less than or equal to 90 as we can see that would be over here and since we are looking for the maximum profit as well so at this point you get the maximum value of x as well that is at 150. So our y is going to be 90 here and x is going to be 150. So let us plug in the values over here now. So 10 times 150 plus 30 times 90 let us see what value this gives us. So this is going to give us 4200 as the maximum profit made by the company in one day. So let us write here. So this is our answer. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. And if you found this video useful then check out these playlists where you will find more examples of this kind. And if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.